Found some new friends there, Brian. They smell better than you guys. <laughs> Uh-oh. We just passed through the uh, goat pastures. It's a good, uh, good way to start your morning. The trail so far has been really nice. Uh, we're high on this ridge. As a matter of fact, we're right in the middle, just about in the middle of a uh, eight mile water carry so eight mile between the two springs but we just got a little extra so we're good for there just carrying a little extra weight and got a good surprise for uh i guess an early dinner so but we've got 15 miles before that happens so we're gonna enjoy this trail today we do have a chance of rain coming really anytime and it's gonna cool down a little bit it's really nice right now Probably about 65. Near perfect. All right, back uphill. All right, had a quick lunch break. Walked a few miles down trail. Had another little break at the Pine Swamp Shelter. And now we're walking again. And we've been heading down 12 and a half miles so far today. And I gotta tell you, that's not very far, but I'm beat, I'm tired today. Um, not sure why, uh, I think some days are just like that. They just kinda add up on you, so um, it is what it is, I'll be all right. And I've got a big surprise. We're coming down now to a couple of creek crossings where we're gonna get some water. And in that area, we also have a couple of road crossings. And at one of those road crossings, the happy camp hares have a friend that's gonna stop by and meet us. So they'll have a surprise and I'll show you that when we get there. So that's gonna get me through today for sure. We've got a big, big climb, about a 1200 foot climb after that to get up to uh, where we're gonna camp for the night. So just like a lot of days, we're saving the hardest climb for the very last part of the day. Okay, we made it to the parking area, the meet up area, and now it's just a waiting game. We're gonna wait for them to get here. We have no cell service, so we're just gonna wait, but it's gonna be worth it. So we got Subway sandwiches and drinks. Wow, some great trail magic. And their friends are uh, hiking up to the shelter with us just for a little uh, mile hike on the AT. So it's nice to see some new faces, have some new conversation, and we're almost to the shelter where we will take a short break and then we'll move on. Wow. <laughs> This trail is getting real rocky. So Pace and Deceiver said goodbye to their friends and we left the shelter down there, the Bailey Gap Shelter. And now we're heading to our campsite at the uh, at Wind Rock Overlook. This doesn't even look like a trail. <laughs> it's, it just is a bunch of rocks. So yeah, that's uh, four miles I think past the shelter and we've got just over two to get there. Um, 
So we should be there. We should be there around seven, maybe a little after. They didn't know how fast we can get over these rocks. So between the break and the sandwiches and the soda that I had, definitely gave us uh, some energy for this last little, little bit here. And this is going to put us around, I think 20 miles for the day. So we're trying to stretch these days out and get them a little bit longer. And maybe by Shenandoah, we can really start putting some miles together. All right, I'm about one mile from the campsite and this is the last water source before the campsite. So I'm gonna fill up and we'll be at the campsite in about 1.2. <laughs> what a rough day this has been. Tough day, but man, always great out here. Love it, love it, love it. All right, everything's done here. Uh, didn't have any dinner tonight, I just had some snacks. Uh, the subway was was fantastic so uh, wow thanks for that and we're looking forward to tomorrow we got camp all set up here it ended up not getting uh, any rain on us today so that was nice uh we'll see if we can make it through the night i have no idea um but yeah i'm ready for tomorrow we've got the kefir oak coming up some different overlooks and uh, a few other things so looking forward to it we're getting closer and closer to uh, dragon's tooth and virginia triple crown Well, it didn't rain yesterday. Made it through all day. Didn't rain most of the night. Started raining early this morning, but it hasn't let up yet. So, we're gonna get things together and uh, get out in this rain. We knew it couldn't last forever. Change of plans. So we decided to stay here at the shelter. We walked about uh, five miles and uh, uh, it's, it's gonna be cold and rainy all day. So we have a new plan as, as is the norm. Um, we're gonna basically just lounge here at the shelter most of the day. We're gonna have some dinner. It's supposed to stop raining or at least less than around uh, five o'clock. So around then uh, we'll look towards maybe heading out and maybe doing some night hiking. So. A totally different day than we've done uh, any time on trail. So, got to be able to mix it up. Got to roll with the, the punches. So, we're going to continue to stay warm and hunker down here and listen to the rain. It's actually really nice. We got uh, we met Blink here at the uh, shelter. So, we're all just hanging out, having a good time, trying to relax and get ready for this uh, evening slash night hike. Everything's charged, ready to go. So to pass the time, I'm making tea. We already had a bunch of snacks. We got a game of chess going on. And the most popular activity, snuggling in your blanket. <laughs> We've laid around enough. The rain has ceased. We're gonna get everything together and head out and see what we can, uh, see what we can make out of this day. What's left of it. We're leaving the shelter. And we picked up one more. Blink's coming with us. We're just going to uh, go as long as we can. If we have to hike a little bit at night, we will. And try to get in some good miles. At least get in what we can for today. We just finished our biggest climb of the day. Coming up here on uh, top of Kelly Knob. Uh, not too bad, but those few hours in the shelter didn't do any good for that. Hard to get going again. But we're heading over here to the lookout. Let's see what we can see.
Okay, after a, a steep, rather steep uh, descent down from Kelly Knob, we're getting close to the shelter. It was point one about uh, half a mile ago, it seems like. <laughs> so we show, oh, I think we're getting there. We made it. Woo. All right. Well, the whole time we were in the shelter, no one passed by us. So we're kind of curious to see who's, uh, who's going to be here at this shelter. But I'm not really so much worried about that. The only thing I'm really worried about is my dinner. All right, tonight I had mac and cheese with barbecue pork, white cheddar cheese, and hot sauce. What'd you have, Deceiver? <laughs> Beef jerky. <laughs> He's had a little everything. With nuts and a mushroom nor pack. Mushroom nor pack. Pace? I have been eating Mexican rice nor. It's still pretty crunchy, and I didn't stir it, so I guess all the flavor was down at the bottom, and now it's very intense. Flavor <laughs> explosion. <laughs> all right, Blink? I'm having loaded mashed potatoes, which includes fake bacon. Um, what all is in here? Chives, onion, perfectly blended with sour cream and a taste of butter. And I added some barbecue chicken as well as some hot sauce and some garlic, so. Very nice. Gourmet up in here. Man. Sounds like we're all eating pretty well. On this chilly, rainy evening.